Welcome to MyWealth.com. I'm Bob O'Brien. I'm one of the senior instructors here with the courses. And welcome to today's video blog. Is it time to refinance or buy a home? Now, there's been a lot of big, bold moves just in this last week by both the Federal Reserve and the Treasury Department. The Federal Reserve, of course, buying up a lot of bonds and specifically mortgage-backed securities. And the Treasury Department, who are now going to help finance private investors to take some of these assets off the books. Sean talked a little bit about you know, some investing moves on Friday in his blog. I want to talk to you today about refinancing or perhaps purchasing a home because these moves are most certainly going to stabilize interest rates and probably bring them down. You're probably going to see the 30-year mortgage somewhere around 4.5% um, in, the, in the near future. And in this time next year, or sometime later on this year, you could see it as low as 4%. So these rates are possible with all these bold moves. As always, make certain that you check out the written blog at www.mywealth.com slash blog. Okay, the Fed stated last week that it was going to buy up $500 billion to $1.2 Two five trillion in mortgage-backed securities. Those are just astronomical numbers, but yeah, that would be in just mortgage-backed securities alone, in addition to some other treasury bonds and so forth that that they would be purchasing. The treasury laid out a plan yesterday where they would provide financing to investors in order to purchase these mortgage-backed securities off the books of banks. So essentially, they would lend investors money in order to purchase these securities. Why all the bad moves? Well, nobody wants these toxic assets that are on the books of the banks. And it's a major reason for the financial crisis that we've been in. It frees up capital on the bank's books, so this should help them lend more. They should be able to lend more money. There's still a lot of people, creditworthy people out there, that are having trouble getting the credit that they need. So this sh should make lending more available. Another thing it's going to do, this is going to help lower mortgage rates and stabilize the real estate market. Okay, with lower mortgage rates, what's going to happen is it's going to lead to fewer foreclosures. A lot of people are falling behind on their payments, so if they get the opportunity to reduce their rate, that'll lower their rate, and then therefore they'll be able to keep their head above water and make their payments. It's also going to make homes more affordable. Lower rate, and therefore lower payments, more affordable homes. And refinance it's also going to put money in people's pockets. If they you know they're paying currently six percent and they can refinance at four and a half, they're gonna have more money to spend and so forth. So th this is, is you know a, a win win um th throughout the economy and that's why the Fed and the Treasury are taking such bold moves. All right, should you for refinance? Okay. Now like I said, all these moves may create mortgage rates as low as four percent. And four and a half percent is probably in the near future on the thirty year mortgage. So you, after all these moves settle in, you should be looking at a four and a half percent thirty year mortgage. And generally the old rule of thumb is that if you can reduce your rate by one percent, then refinancing usually makes sense. And you always want to run the numbers and, and I've included um, some some areas where you can do that and check with your mortgage lender and, and so forth. But with the fees associated with refinancing, usually you need to be able to reduce your rate by one percent in order for it to make sense. Should you purchase a home? This may not be as, as clear cut and of course this really depends on, on where you're located geographically um, and we've written some articles on this so you definitely want to check out the blog for past articles um, that, that we've written in regards to this. But one thing you don't want to fall into the trap of that a lot of real estate agents will tell you you know when rates go back up homes are going to be more um, expensive this is probably not going to be the case because rates have been coming down and prices have continued to fall as well and there's still these five million homes on the market that no one can afford so you definitely want to get all the facts when it comes to that and that's exactly what we're in the business of doing helping people get all the facts and getting a solid financial education so don't wait get in a course get educated get to www.mywealth.com well, these are certainly fascinating times. Some of the moves that, again, the Fed and the Treasury have done in the last week are historical in nature. I mean, these things just don't happen. 
And the Federal Reserve is literally printing money. I mean, they're crediting the uh, buy by purchasing things. I mean, they're literally pulling money out of thin air. So you definitely want to take advantage of these times to, to understand things that are going on and, and how it will affect you as an investor. Even if, if you're struggling right now, maybe you don't have a lot to invest, take the lessons that come from this. And, you know, see, see how you can position yourself into the future. And that's what we help you do in our courses, our personal finance course, where we help you learn to save, track your net worth, um, plan for retirement, and all those things. Then our investing course, we help you invest your money. And then our currency course, where we give you a real big macro perspective of what's going on in the economy. And, and, and other economies as well, the world economy. So you definitely want to take advantage of these courses. Again, my name is Bob O'Brien. Thanks for being with me today, and have a great day.